Paramoan is actually where we're building a school with Yellow Boat of Hope, and it's going to be a, a disaster evacuation area in addition to just a school because that side of the island gets hit with typhoons a lot. And I was talking to some of the volunteer teachers, and they've actually had to stay for weeks on the island because the typhoon was so strong they were unable to leave. And everyone there was just extremely grateful, and they just were so welcoming towards us. Um, they have so little, but they're willing to give so much, and they never waste anything. If they, if they could have a pencil or a pad of paper, they're just overcome with joy. It's amazing how grateful they are for even just little things, and I am so blessed to be able to help them and to be able to give back with the opportunities that have been presented to me. How did you prepare for that trip? Oh, I, you know, I wasn't, I don't think I was entirely prepared for what I experienced there because I knew there was going to be a two-hour boat ride, but I didn't realize it was going to be on a small boat um, through very rough waters, and I really just tried to um, educate myself on the mission of Yellow Boat and kind of try to learn a couple of words in Tagalog, Tagalog and Bicol so I could at least attempt to communicate with the islanders, uh, islanders and I brought a lot of water because I wasn't sure what the water situation was over there because I know they had just gotten filtered water but I don't think there's any real way to prepare for that experience because as I walked around the corner and they were welcoming me with flags and banners I started crying because I was so overcome with just like joy um, seeing people that were so grateful for even like a small thing. What surprised you the most about that trip? I was actually uh, very surprised at how much the villagers were willing to um, try and communicate even though there was a language barrier there because I wasn't sure what they were saying and they weren't sure what I was saying but they were still very receptive and they brought us fish, and, uh, grilled fish and grilled squid, and they tried to make us as comfortable as possible, and they were so excited to show us the um, water tower, so even though we couldn't understand them, they were extremely grateful and still very welcoming. Um, what will you bring back to the U.S. after this experience? I think I'm going to go back and really just do more advocacy work, especially with literacy. Um, I was never truly appreciative of the opportunities that I have with my own school. My parents are very, very adamant that my sister and I get a college education, and we have the opportunity to do that in the U.S. Um, with a free public school system that is um, very, very good. And I'm just going to take back this humbling experience and really just keep it close to my heart and remember that people have so little and that with the opportunities that I have, I should be giving back and should be inspiring others to give back as well because I think other people don't realize what's going on in the rest of the world. Can you invite people to get on board and how are they going to get in touch with you if they want to help? I would just want to invite everyone to get on board with Yellow Boat of Hope and Smart Communication in all of their advocacies and anyone else that's advocating to help other people. And there's so many different ways you can help. Um, if you, even if you can't donate your time, you can donate a couple of pesos, which really helps people because there are people that can't even buy a pencil for themselves because they are so poor. And if you just go online to the Yellow Boat of Hope Facebook page, they have a link to donate. And I encourage everyone to go do that. Thank you very much. Thank you.